All right, guys, Andrew, been a long time since I've uploaded a video. We're gonna do one on the Quickset Decoder today. We'll get a little closer up look view over here in just a few minutes. But just wanna say thank you guys for everything, for subscribing, commenting, liking, watching, disliking, trolling me, whatever. I love you guys all. I thank you. Subscribe down below if you haven't, please do. Uh, we're gonna do a video on this cool, nifty little tool for you locksmiths, lock enthusiasts, and uh, guys who can and buy this. Um, it's called the Quickset Smart Key Decoder Tool. Um, Q Tactical, I think, is where I bought mine. Lockmasters also has it uh, on the pricey side a little bit, but works magic if you need to get into a quick set smart key with the uh, non-destructive way. There's lots of videos on destructive ways, but this is the non-destructive way. Um, it allows you to actually make a key for it. So without further ado, we're going to bring you guys over here and take a look at what we have. All right, guys. Little unboxing. Quick set smart key decoder. So as soon as you open it up, you notice your tool. Kind enough to have three slots. They give you one extra blade. Uh, on the very tip of that, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's reflecting. That is the mirror that's actually on the end of the, the key. And that's the whole tool behind this, how this works. You're actually scoping the lock. They also give us some extra batteries. They are the, what are they? Looks like the LR44s. It does take three of them in the very bottom of it. So how it works, it is omits a light shining on the mirror, which reflects to the inside of the uh, cylinder of the lock. And you look through the glass all the way down and be able to decode by reading the wafer. Uh, I'll show you what the picture looks like of a couple of wafers that you're looking at. Um, some of my other previous videos, you guys saw me use one of these, which is the uh, quick set reset tool, reset cradle, I believe is what they call it. Uh, I'll put a link to the video below if you haven't seen how to use one of these. Uh, pretty self-explanatory on the front. Put the cylinder in the right way, so on and so forth. Here's a smart key cylinder. Um, what we're looking for to determine if it's a smart key, they have the little slot here on the end. Um, that allows the smart key tool to go in and depress the sidebar along with the Bible when you have the key in it uh, to change the key. Really, really not the best design in the world. Uh, there is a few videos of some guys picking them, um, but they're designed to be pick proof. Uh, in all reality, um, I've picked one, uh, maybe twice, but in a controlled environment, never, never on a house. Um, well, I'm trying to unlock somebody's house with this on it. Um, if you're lucky enough to pick it, hey, awesome. It's very far few in between. I run into quite a few of these on a regular basis here in the Phoenix metropolitan area where I work. Uh, so what I end up doing uh, is I, you know, quote a price for the house opening, kind of determine with the customer if they can tell me if it's a smart key or not. Uh, if it is a smart key, I tell them it's gonna cost a little bit more because I actually have to make a key instead of picking the lock to unlock the house um, to get in. And then on top of that, we try to sell them locks that are better than these. So for all you guys out there who think I tell customers to keep these on there, I don't. I don't like these locks, they're not safe. Uh, good friend of mine, Terry Yates, Mr. Locksmith, go check out his YouTube channel if you haven't. He uh, designed a tool, he calls it the Quick Set Dumb Key tool. Um, which I think is a really cool play on words for him. But yeah, I'll put a link into his video too down below, which basically is a destructive method of unlocking this lock when it's on the, uh, the residence. Um, 
But what we're going to show you with this is how to read it. It's a non-destructive method. Again, this doesn't hurt the lock, it doesn't do anything, it just shows you inside what the wafers are and basically how high or how low they are um, inside the lock. So you can determine the actual cuts of the key uh, to be able to open it. If you look real closely down at the, uh, the little silver bars that are sticking up, those are wafers. Um, or the tumblers, as some of you guys call it. They're actually a wafer inside this lock, um, which actuate with the pins that allow the key to turn. So let's talk a little bit about how this thing works. Right now, we have it keyed up to a, a certain key. Um, one thing that I tell guys when they first buy it, people ask me how I learned how to use it. It's, it's rather hard to use. So I actually cut a key in a, in a step formation, one, two, three, four, five, and keyed up the lock to one, two, three, four, five. So now I can determine what the wafer looks like in those positions. There's six steps in a quick set lock um, for the cuts to go, but five cuts, we can only use five depths. So obviously if you see one that looks different when we're in here, then it's gonna probably be a six cut. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come up with this neat little contraption, good old styrofoam cup with a hole cut in it. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna show you what this looks like inside the lock. Uh, give me just a second to get that set up and we'll bring you guys back. All right, guys. So we're looking down the cylinder, down through the scope on the quick set smart key. We're gonna look at this spot right here. If you look real closely, you can see one of the silver wafers. Now what we have to determine is how high or how low this uh, actual wafer is to determine the actual cut. Uh, sometimes you see like a little tit on the end of the, uh, the wafer. Sometimes you see the whole wafer. Sometimes the gap on the bottom is a little bigger than the gap on the top. Or, you know, there's, it's, it's really not numbered. It doesn't tell you how to do it. It takes a rather lot of getting used to using it. But once you figure it out, you can make a key in about 30 seconds with a, with a pair of clippers at the door. Um, so again, we're looking right here at the wafer. So again, this tool is really, really sweet on how it works. You get to read the wafers. So this cut here, I believe what we're looking at, I'm looking through it through my uh, GoPro video feed on my tablet so it's it's kind of grainy on here you guys will see it in 1080 but again we're looking right here this cut i believe is a two so for some of you guys out there that own this you can understand that that might be a three actually no that's a four i apologize i believe that is a four so we start there and you guys kind of go through the whole key and look at it again the best way to do it is to key up the key to one two three four five or five, four, three, two, one, however you want to do it, just so you can kind of determine and, and scope the lock yourself and look at how it actually works. Uh, so I want to thank you guys again for liking, commenting, subscribing. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, again, this is a quick set smart key decoder video. Uh, be looking for some other ones. I've got some automotive videos coming out. Uh, and if you guys have any videos you want me to do on any locksmithing tools that I do own, I'll uh, be more than willing to attempt to do it uh, and give my, my way of doing it. So again, check it out, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.